TBS K36BW with your co-anchor. Justin Harris and Cody Best. And Weather with Conrad Jenkins. So I know it's kind of late for uh, New Year's resolutions, but I'm writing off the whole month of February this year. What you got against February? Well, it's February has got something against me. I've been sick this whole month. You're sick? I mm. turned 30. Ah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 51st episode of The Broken News. I'm Justin Harris. And I'm Cody Best. And it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes it is. But uh, we've been having an abnormally large number of uh, beautiful days lately, haven't we? Yes. Yes, we have. Well, will the trend continue? I don't know. Find out later when Conrad Jenkins gives us a heads up on next week's weather. But first, let's get to some news. I'm sick of the news. Let's do the old. Well, the Thompson Falls market is at it again, and market coordinator Katrina Wright has quite a schedule of events planned to make this market season a memorable one. Maybe we could judge one of the contests this year. Keep your fingers crossed. Don't hold your breath, though. Until then, take a look at some of the things your Thompson Falls Market has in store for our community. The Dirt on Composting is coming up, and residents of Sanders County want to learn how to make dirt. Dirt. Yes, of course. Well, John Halpop, the MSU Extension agent in Sanders County, clarifies. Dirt is what you track onto the kitchen floor, while soil provides a growing medium for plant life. During a gardening workshop in October, the attendees were asked what other topics they were interested in, and everyone asked for a workshop on composting. I would. Uh, I would too. Our composting is very important for our, our environment and for your garden. For your garden. In response, a partnership between the Sanders County MSU Extension Office, Master Gardener Charlotte Bowdry, your Thompson Falls Market, and the Friends of the Library will be hosting The Dirt on Composting, a four-hour workshop on Saturday, March 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. that will share the ins and outs of composting. A four-hour workshop. It's got to be longer than that. Do you uh, have any idea how long it takes to make compost? No, I don't. But Katrina Wright feels that the current economic conditions, the seemingly constant reports of food contamination, and the high fuel prices that have caused food prices to skyrocket have made area residents return to the garden and to community markets. She goes on to say that recycling, or in this case composting, will help area residents save money while growing more nutritious produce for their families and to sell at your area market. Well, that sounds logical. And you know how much I love supporting the local economy. Especially when good food is involved. Yes, I know. But uh, give me the dirt on this composting meeting. Uh, what's the scoop? Dig this. <laughs> Attendees are encouraged to bring a sack lunch, but snacks and refreshments will be provided and are sponsored by the Friends of the Library. There is a small fee for materials, and be sure and download your registration form from www.thompsonfallsmarket.com or pick one up at the Falls Motel during business hours before the deadline March 15th. There is limited space, so sign up early and be at the Library Annex starting at 10 a.m. on March 20th. Well, that sounds informative. I've always wondered exactly how to use those old coffee grounds, but uh, I'm not sure I'm that far along yet. Then drink more coffee. <laughs> I've had a few ideas on how to be involved, though. Well, many have had ideas like yours, and Katrina has solutions for those with entrepreneurial tendencies. Hmm. Maybe you've thought about selling some items from your garden. Or some of those crafts that you like doing. I do like doing some crafts. <laughs> but maybe you didn't want to commit to every weekend, or even half the weekends. Well, there is a solution. Why not gather a couple of friends, other garden enthusiasts, and share a booth? And cost time and energy. Unlike some markets, the Thompson Falls market feels that by working together, everyone benefits. And I can agree with that. Yeah, I think 
That sounds pretty good. I could, I could probably pull something together, actually. I'd buy your crafts. You don't know what they are yet. I know. Vendor applications are available online at www.thompsonfallsmarket.com. Go to the vendor page. I really enjoy the Thompson Falls Market, but I'm not sure that I can dedicate that kind of time. Or even be able to sell what ends up growing in my garden or the crafts that I make. The which you haven't seen yet. <laughs> For some reason I believe that. <laughs> well then, there are other ways to help. For example, you could sponsor the Thompson Falls Market and get marketing value out of it all summer long. The Thompson Falls Market is in need of purchasing two to three 10 by 20 canopies to be used for special events like judges' tents, seating areas, or music activities. Now these tents cost between $300 and $500, and they need to get sturdy, durable canopies to withstand the wind, weather, excessive use, and the elements. Sponsors will be included in press releases, email newsletters, and on the market website with links, and via a banner every weekend of the market. Contact Katrina directly if you're interested in the marketing opportunity at manager at thompsonfallslodging.com or call 827-3559. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me. He's going to use that. That's a great idea. A The Broken News sponsored 10 at the Thompson Falls Market. Really? We might even pick up a few viewers. That would be fantastic. And like the market, we're all about the community, not just the food. Well, I think it's about... 50-50 for me. It's an even split. Well, they, the food is that good. Moving on. The Sanders County Community Housing Organization is holding their annual fundraising dinner and silent auction on Saturday, March 6th at the Lakeside Motel in Trout Creek. The Sanders County Community Housing Organization. I guess I'm not familiar with that group. I, I, what do you know about them? Well, um, the purpose of the SCCHO is to promote the availability of affordable housing for low to moderate income residents in Sanders County. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. What's the agenda for the night of the fundraiser? Well, the evening will begin with a social starting at 5.30 p.m. Then it will be followed by a dinner at 6.20 p.m. 6.20? Yeah, that's what it says, 6.20. Huh. I just report the news. I don't make it. To find out more about the event or to snag up some tickets, please call 827-0305. Get right on that. Have you always wanted to help the Thompson River Animal Shelter, but weren't sure how? Actually, yeah, I had this really cool idea where I... Well, don't worry about it, because you see, Trax has the opportunity to win a grant to build a play area for the dogs at the shelter, and the only way to win the money is through you. Me? <laughs> well, not you alone. Let me start over. Petfinder.com gives $100,000 annually to shelters nationally, and Trax is looking to secure funds from this year's awards. Okay, well, what do I need to do? How can I help? The money awarded goes to the shelters with the most votes at www.theanimalrescuesite.com. The contest ends April 18th. So let me get this straight. I just need to go to www.theanimalrescuesite.com. And vote for Sanders County's very own tracks, and they get the money? Well, yeah, you and everyone else willing to help. Okay. The contest started in mid-January. Mid-January? Then we're behind. We're way behind. Get on your computers and tell everyone to vote for Thompson River Animal Care Shelter so these dogs can get a play area. Computers, unite! Yeah. Just go to the site and find the purple button that says click here to give, it's free. It's that easy? No, yeah, yeah, I just did it three times before the show. Three times, really? Yeah, from three different computers. And you can vote every day. Nice. Yes. A window will come up that will ask you which shelter you'd like to vote for. Just type in Thompson River Animal Care Shelter and choose Montana. The site will ask you to verify by identifying a picture of a common animal, like a dog, bear, or a cat. Then you're done. Well, um, until tomorrow. What? Uh, done until tomorrow, then I can vote again. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do Several it. times. Do it every day. Let everybody know. Go to different computers. Yeah, go to yeah. all the different ones at the library, everywhere. Yeah, sounds easy enough, and I've always been a supporter of what Trax does for the animals out there. Trax, you've got my vote. I'll see what we can do about motivating the rest of our contacts 
to support this endeavor.